Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, National Weather Watch, April 5th edition, taking a look at the mid-level water vapor loop, and you can see that frontal system still moving across central portions of the USA. We have a severe weather threat again today. We'll take a look at what the SPC has to say about that. You can see the colder air in the wake of that mid-latitude cyclone still wrapping up some blizzard conditions here across the northern states. So let's just dive into things here. This is the NAM 3KM, and you can clearly see the dew point temperatures, the warm, moist air mass out ahead of this system, the cold front back here dry line somewhere across central texas as we speak some of this very dry air back here and very moist air out in front of it here and that's kind of the focal point for the, some of the severe thunderstorm activity as we go through the day today you can see the convection actually breaking out here into the dew points as we march on into the afternoon today and eventually this drier air and that cold front pushes all the way down across some of the southeast portions of the usa now we're looking at up towards 18,000 feet. This is last night's European run. This is that mid-latitude cyclone that brought those tornadoes across areas in Iowa, Illinois. Some nice structure out there yesterday. Big hail. A couple storm chasers got impacted by tornadoes out there. But as we march on into today, you can see that shear still exists into that moist air mass here. So we're going to bring some severe potential here across portions further east. Again, we'll look at the SPC here on that in a moment. Then we're going to sag a stationary front here across some of the southern portions here, Louisiana, Texas, especially for some very heavy rain setting up for the next few days. This is looking at current hazards, the yellowest tornado watch. We've got severe thunderstorm watches in effect. Wind advisories, we're wrapping up these blizzard warnings, some winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories here as well. Still some red flag warnings here for the very dry air making its way down into central Texas. This is looking at the day one categorical outlook and you can see enhanced does exist across a lot of the area here in the orange. The slight is yellow and we've got marginal all the way down towards Texas as well. Here's the day one tornado outlook. You can see the 5% is hat is in the, I almost said hatch. This 5% here is shown in the brown and the 2% in the green. This is for hail, not a big hail threat today, although there could be some reports of some larger hail associated and more of a wind threat here across areas of Ohio, Indiana, down towards Kentucky and Tennessee as well. This is looking at the NAM 3KM. This is the 12Z run hot off the press, as you can see this front march eastward here. And this is where the main area, the main uh, threat of severe weather exists. But watch as we push this front off to the east and the stationary front kind of hangs back and just get a prolonged period of some heavy Heavy rainfall here across portions of Texas into Louisiana, portions of Mississippi, even Arkansas as well as we go on in through Friday afternoon. And if we look here at the NAM 3KM, the 12Z run, you can see some of these severe storms coming across here. And then you'll see that stationary front kind of hang back with that heavy rain across portions of eastern and southern Texas there as we go on into Friday again. This is what the Doppler radar may look like. Here we go with that excessive rainfall outlook. This is associated with that line of storms moving through the area today. And as we go through tomorrow, you can see that still hanging out across Texas and Louisiana. And again, the following day, this would be for um, 12Z uh, uh, Friday morning on in through Saturday morning shown there. And you can see this does push off into the southeast, but that threat starts to relax as we go on to the weekend for Texas and Louisiana. Thank goodness, a lot of heavy rain is incoming. This is looking at the total precipitation. Yesterday I did a 24 running out, uh, 24 hour running total. If we put this into motion, this is just total precipitation amounts. And you can see some pretty big amounts coming here through the 90 hour period. As we go through Thursday, uh, Saturday afternoon, you can see some pretty big amounts here for Southeast Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi there with that stationary front. And if you guys want a affordable home weather station, check out the Tempest weather system here. It's matching up very well with my more expensive weather equipment. It's quite accurate, it's very affordable, and it's got smart integration. It keeps all your data in the cloud for you. It's totally wireless, solar powered, no batteries added. So click on the link below if you wanna buy one of those. So anyway, I'm just trying to get my feet wet here a little bit with some of these national briefings here. I'll continue to evolve as we go and decide how I want to cover a more of a broad outlook of things here. And I will continue to cover California, the Pacific Northwest as always, especially with California when it is active. I'll also look at other portions of the planet as well as interesting weather comes along. I'm still trying to decide how I want to integrate that into my page. So anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe and I I will talk to you guys tomorrow.